Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at another set from the Modeling Support Goods line of option weapons from Kurbukya. This is the number 29, the Hand Gatling Gun. And as you can see there, it's only this. This picture is a little bit misleading over here on this side with this uh, chain going to this ammo drum on the back of the uh, frame arms uh, architect frame there. It's maybe important to be aware that that is not included with this set. That is a separate set that you can buy though from Kodobuki. It's a separate option set. I'm not sure if it's number 30 or whatever, like one in the line possibly, but uh, I won't be reviewing that set, only reviewing here just the Gatling guns. So as you can see, it's a three barrel Gatling gun with this uh, ammo clip kind of there off the side of that. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably seen this around on different custom builds and stuff. It's pretty common to be used with different Gunpla and, and obviously frame arms and all that as well too. Uh, the list price for this one is only 500 yen, so not too bad, only gonna cost you about five bucks. Especially if you decide you need two of them, one in each hand, it's not too bad a price. And I believe, I'm not sure how well you're able to, well, okay. I don't think you can switch all the parts to the left or the right side, but what you can do is attach two of them on top of each other like that to make a pretty cool like d double Gatling gun like that if you buy two. So I guess maybe you could buy four, make two of these sets and then one for the left and one for the right. That could be pretty cool. And I'm sure many people have done that before. You've probably have seen it around. But anyway, here's the rest of your instructions on the back of that little card there on the inside. Just get it opened up here and in aside from that we've got just our parts which is just a couple of small runners here not a lot in this case it explains the small price tag only 500 yen so we've got parts of one through six here on our first runner all in gray and then parts the seven through 14 here on our second runner so again yeah not a whole lot and it's just all here in this dark gray color but we just go ahead and get this put together and we'll see how it looks all right, so for this one, it is going to be pretty simple in that basically everything you see here is everything that you get. Now there are some options that you can do with this. For example, having this uh, secondary handle up there either omitted or on either the left or the right side, you could choose that. If you're gonna have like a left-handed or right-handed unit, you can choose that or again, just completely omit that. Now if you have two of this kit, this is where you'll plug the second one onto each other. They just plug right onto each other there like that. And then you could omit this handle and use other some other sort of connection piece or something for that. How you might want to connect that onto somewhere or have this like up over the shoulder as like a, a turret kind of thing. Something anyway. The handle itself is pretty cool in that you can rotate that around and you can also change the angle of it. So that should be very easy to uh, have this posed in whatever hand you might want. How you can change the angle of that. And of course the barrels do rotate, although not like automatically, you could add a tiny little motor in there or something could be kind of cool. There is a motorized one as well too, it's a larger one of the heavy weapons uh, units from Kurobuki that they do. There is a motorized um, Gatling gun I believe as well too. But basically that's about it and I gotta say not necessarily all that large. I think the uh, Gatling gun option set from Bandai is much larger so if you wanted a really big one that's probably the better way to go. This is a little bit smaller one, a little bit more modest one. So I think it's gonna be pretty good size whereas you could use it with something with 100 scale and have it be not looking unnecessarily all that large, uh, you know just kind of a small Gatling gun or use it with a 144 scale kit and obviously it's gonna be looking a lot larger. So let's go ahead and check it out with some different options. Plus like I said as you guys will see here we're now with some some examples. Uh, as for the size of it, it's very versatile as to whether you want to use it with different size kits or you know Mecha Masume kits like the Frame Arms Girl Megami Device kits as well too, as well as just regular Frame Arms kits, uh, Hexagear kits, you know, depending on the kit. Uh, I don't know how well exactly it would be suited you know, for the kit, but it could definitely be used with a number of different kits. And again, this is another one where I think it would definitely be worthwhile having multiples of this, where you could have two attached to each other, or four, and have like uh, two on each arm, do it like Heavy Arms custom style. That is definitely something that you could do with this set, uh, with four of them, unfortunately. But, you know, at only 500 yen each, that's not too bad, around 20 bucks for a set of quadruple Gatling guns is not too bad and they certainly look impressive and add a lot to your kits so if you're wanted if you wanted to do that kind of look I think this is a good set to check out so as always guys I hope this was a good resource for you if you're looking for this type of weapon if you have any other further questions of course do feel free to leave those down below but if, as always guys the link to USA Gundam store where you guys can check out all the different Kurobukiya MSG option parts and weapons and things that we have in stock there you guys can check that all out on the site the link is in the video description as well as the coupon code there is Aquarius 10 you guys can use that there on the site as well too and as always guys just thank you so much for watching i'll see you all next time hope you're having a great day bye guys